Hey, we are what back with part guys? two. Part two of review of day three. So yes, review of day three, part two. Chris is fitting into the new snowboard. Yeah, my grandpa Mike's old snowboarding boots, and I don't know who's binding those are, just but downstairs in the yeah, they were just down downstairs. So if you guys don't know, my my grandparents have been living in Aspen for a while now. Um, Bro, do you see that? My grandpa Where owned that? a shop in Aspen, and you know all the rich people come to Aspen and. Instead of like shipping their boards out here, they buy a board and then they leave it. And then they leave it. So my grandpa just like scoops all up, scoops it all up, take, brings it home, and then he stores it for whoever comes over. So my grandma runs out her apartment, and Whoa. sometimes she lends the boards to people <laughs> to use. Like me and Chris, we're using hey, her boards cool? now. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, Chris. Let's use something cool. No. Yeah. Ooh, boy, I could just see you in the mountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't break anything. <laughs> Ooh, no! You can't break the board. Uh, you can't break the board. Chris is doing... Yeah! Chris is doing whatever. So... so you're set for his the board... board right? His board is fitting him pretty well. He's got his bindings in. He's got... Except I put his the boots. On. I put the bindings on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. How, did, what, how could you tell them they're backwards? I don't understand. They're both straight. The buckles. These buckles are supposed to be on the outside. Oh, well, they're on the inside. Oh, I can just this and snap them on Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. <laughs> so Chris, Chris put the bindings on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's supposed Fuck to be oh, how... Yeah. So after the play, after the play, we got home and Chris was like, you know what? Since my grandma's going boarding, why not? Why not all of us go boarding? Fix it. So we went into the garage out back. It's a pretty big garage, and we went out into the top layer. So we went up into the rafters, the loft, yeah, and it was a treasure trove up there. There was just this huge giant box of goggles. There was a. A couple, there was like a shelf full of boarding boots. <laughs> Got you! There was a, there was a, ski, hey, ski boots. a well, snowboarding boots, ski boots. There was a uh, box of helmets, dope, of helmets. We found a dope snowboard. Yeah, we found, a, we and found a lot board. of boards. And my Uncle Mike, he like wedged this oh. board up into the rafters. Like, I don't know how he did it. He must have had like some two people hold it as and far up and push it like up in and while he's nailing it in. So it was up there tight. So we like had to loosen the nails and pull it out oh, yeah. just to find out that Chris can't use it because it's missing. So like yeah, this hurts. part of the binding is missing. Hey, so we know, weren't able to use it. I'm recording, bro. After we worked, like, for five minutes trying to get it, like, out of this what position. What is up, guys? So. Chris is recording. Chris is yeah, recording. Bro. Chris found a nice old tripod. Good he was found a tripod. He was, he, yeah, in the treasure garage. That's what we're going to call that place now. Treasure garage. I found. Action. I found some <laughs> nice step-in, um, dun, 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 what are they bindings. called? Step-in oh, bindings. Oh, they're called flows. They are so nice. My grandma used them like once or twice. I didn't like them. Why the and she didn't like them. So I might be bringing home some new step-in bindings. Yeah, cool. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm still debating on how I'm going to get them home. But I think I might be able to just shove it into... Yeah. You think so? Shove it into my... Uh, Either my day pack, you know my it's backpack, in your, in your blue or it's in my blue suitcase. suitcase. I could probably fit it in my blue suitcase. Yeah, Hunter. If I if I stuff my clothes into yeah, my helmet around. bag yeah. and into my boots, then I can definitely fit those bindings in. I think you can. So hopefully, I can fit those in because they are really, really nice. And yeah. I, day one was rough with the step-in bindings, but that's just to figure so. out that, like, 
it was literally the smallest fix in the world. So there's a dial in the back that uh, is like tighten or loosen, so it's a plus or a minus sign. So all we had to do was twist the plus sign. Chris Holbrook is recording, guys. guys. So we were like, so we could have kept our stuff at buttermilk. Yeah, yeah. But we were like, you yeah. know what? We're gonna bring it home to fix it on the bus ride back. The, on, Hi, since we had so much time, because it was a three-hour bus ride about, because we yeah we got lost. We we got lost that first day, as you guys recall in the day one review video. Day we we got one. lost. We got lost on the second day. Oh yeah, on the second day. Um, day one was a settling in bed. So yeah, we got lost on the second day and we, I, I don't know how we missed it. We got on the wrong bus. Except for, like, our grandma, grandma was like, you have to ride the owl. You have to ride the owl. Yeah. You have to ride the owl. What did she we was ride drilling the that. BLT freaking bus. And she <laughs> was like, don't ride the BRT. Don't yeah. ride the BRT, or you <laughs> will not be able to stop at home. Guess what? We, we got did. on the BRT. Yeah, and we rode to Glenwood. And we went all the way to Glenwood Springs, which is about a Action. half hour that way. Action. So from Glenwood Springs to Aspen, it's a half hour. No, or, no it's from, an hour. From Aspen to Glenwood is an hour. So from Aspen to Holland Hills is only about half an hour. So we we drove traveled an hour and a half out of the way. We drove an hour that way, and then the bus didn't come for like another a half hour. Yeah, I got twenty. So that was an hour and a half, and then it took us half an hour to get back. So it took us about two hours to get back to our house. But we finally did that. Yeah. That was over. That's in the past. It is the end of day three, and it was great. It was a good day. Bro, was it? Yes, it was a great day. Was it? I mean, we went to Dos Gringos. Yeah. And I, I had the best burrito of my life. Bro, you're I gonna, might regret it tonight at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like 1 o'clock in the and morning, Chris it might become a, a little rough. Play. Yeah. Yes, Chris finally saw a Shakespearean play. Hunter, you've never saw one either, bro. No, I haven't seen a Shakespearean play. But I have read Shakespearean plays, and I've watched Shakespearean movies. I read the book in school, bro. Yeah. Did you read The Tempest, though? You didn't read The Tempest. Oh, yeah, you probably... Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. We haven't read The Tempest. We've, wa we've read Hamlet, Macbeth, and Romeo and Juliet. We read Tempest and Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. So I've seen Romeo and well, Juliet... So and I've seen words, Hamlet, you know? and I've seen Macbeth all in movies. So, no, you didn't. yeah, I have. No, you have Chris is trying to tell me different. Don't lie to me. I, I don't like liars. I'm not lying to you, Chris. There was a part about, but they were talking about uh, the drinking. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dude, so, so my my drink. uncle, my uncle was was an actor in the play. He was a drunken. He was a, uh, he, he was a drunken butler a drunken to the queen, butler, and he 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 was amazing. He it was it. the funniest thing ever. He so it, if you guys don't know, Shakespeare usually writes tragedies like in Romeo. And, oh wait, I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't read it. Just freaking tell. But just tell. Like That's Shakespearean plays usually end in death, but. Yeah. Nobody died in the Tempest. It was a comedy because the only because it's yeah, shortened. it 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 and was a pretty they so the director was genius enough to make it into a comedy, which made the play like ten times Mara, better. We're not supposed to be talking about today. We're supposed to be talking about tomorrow, bro. No, it's day three review, part two. Yeah, you said for. Part two, we have to talk about what we're doing tomorrow. Yes, and we will get there. We still have about five minutes. Yeah. And we're wasting it. Okay, so tomorrow, we are going to Snowmass with my grandma, with him, with me. and with me. Hey, no, with Hunter so and Chris Holbrook. Chris is setting up his board. He's got it almost backwards. set up. He, he, he put the bindings in backwards. 
Yeah, me! How'd you do that one, Chris? He put the bindings in back. Bro, I'm a professional. Don't you know? He calls me stupid all the time. But, Bro, I'm but a then he puts the binding in back. I'm a professional. <laughs> you're not. So you okay, got Chris. It. Oh. Whatever you say, Chris. I'm a professional. No, I'm a professional. Grandma, do you think he's a professional? Hunter, I'm a professional. I'm about the to shit my pants, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a professional farter. <laughs> I can shit myself, bro. Okay, so he's resetting up his board so his bindings are on the right side. Because I'm a Because he set them up wrong. I'm a professional. And because bro. he's a professional, he messed no, it up. I'm a professional. He professionally messed up bindings. What the That's what he's a professional at. Why the hell? The shit? <laughs> and now he can't figure him out. <laughs> oh, I got the <laughs> spin room. Okay. So he's so he decided to board because everyone who we've talked to and all our research proves that Snowmass is the best boarding is the best mountain to go boarding on. Shut up. Stop talking. I need silence. So I, I think I it's true. Violent. So tomorrow we get to snowboard from the Cirque. Highest if you guys point. don't know what the Cirque is, it's highest the highest point rideable, on no, Snowmass. Highest rideable yes. mountain in Colorado. Highest rideable point on Snowmass. No, on any mountain. No, because Highland Bowl. Highland Bowl is only 12,000 feet up. Is it really? Oh. Cirque. Okay. Oh, no, really? Cirque is 14,000. Yeah. Oh, okay. Highland so the Cirque Bowl. is the highest peak, rideable peak. Well, in Colorado. In Colorado, that you can get to by lift. I guarantee that some daredevil went out to some random mountain that had snow on it that's taller than 14,000 feet yeah, and Chris decided Holbrook, to ride it. Chris Holbrook went to 17,000 feet up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Every, everyone yeah, knows that's here. not true. Everyone knows that's not true. I went out with the fugitives, guys. Yeah, Chris decided to go out with the fugitives, which we know is not true because we never saw him. Hey, shut up. I saw him. I saw oh. him in my dream. Shut okay, up. yes. In your dreams, Chris. In Chris's dreams, he snowboarded from 17,000 feet. Yeah, guys. Get her done. Good. Congratulate him. Give him a congrats. Chris, they congratulate you. Give me a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah. Know. So, okay. in Chris's in Chris's world, oh, he hangs out with fugitives. So get the bag, Grandma. Hey, you guys have turned off all the lights, right? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So in Chris's dreams, he hangs out with fugitives and snowboards with them from seventeen thousand feet in the air. No, not in the air, shit. Huh? Seventeen thousand feet elevation on a mountain. No, on a mountain. Vertical. 17,000 17, vertical. vertical. Same difference. Elevation and vertical are the same no, thing. No, they're not. It's so hard. No, they're not. Oh, my God. So you guys and he said night. he's a professional. Good night. So tomorrow we are going to Snowmass. It's going to be a fun hey, day. Let's make a part three, bro. No, we're not making a part Come three. Come on, part three. Let's go. No, we're not making a part three. We are making Why a do part we need three. to part, make a part three? Let's, let's make a we part don't need three. to make a part three. Part three up in our room. So, this is the end of day three, Peace, part two. Guys. So, we might be making a part three, but I don't think so. So, see ya.